All right, guys, welcome back to Alan Wake 2 here on the channel. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Much appreciated. Please like, subscribe, comment, everything in between. You guys are the best, like I always say. And, you know, we're on a pretty good roll with making videos, if I say so myself. We busted out a few over the last few days. So if you guys haven't checked those out, make sure to do that at, you know, at this time of the video, I suppose. But um, episode two right here, right now, starts Alan Wake 2. Um... You know, I know I'm a little bit late to the ball on this one because this game came out back in October 2023. <clears throat> um, but I'm loving it so far, even if I only got through part one. It's kind of unique play style. A um, couple different things you have to do to put, like, you know, crimes together and whatnot. So I'm assuming there's going to be a little bit more of that. But uh, we've just arrived in a new city or, or like, you know, Bright Falls, I should say, um, on this part number two. Uh, the, the city with a lot of history here. So we're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what's good with it. And um, you know, we're gonna keep shipping away here and uh, we're, we're, in, we're in it to win it in this game. So let's get after it. Thank you guys. Here we go. Part number two starts now. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home. A little bit of a recap from the ending of part number one last time. Since we had this uh, little cutscene, welcome to Bright Falls. Um, and now we're here. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner and get a feel for the town. All right, so we are going to get a little the bit of a feel. The waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses. A little bit of a feel for the time. <sighs> okay. Casey's favorite brand. Tastes terrible. So interview with the witnesses at the diner. Weapon upgrade. We can't quite do this yet. Um, it's kind of crazy how this goes, like being in the mind here. Um, cases. Alex Casey. Previous murders. Background case. This is what we knew about the serial murders in the Bright Falls area. I found Alex Casey lunch boss with manuscript fragments inside. Who's a blonde to? Are there others? Point of interest cases. Track objects information. Sega has acquired collection progress. Murder of Cauldron Lake. It's got a new case. Interesting. Okay. So we'll be able to explore different cases. That's kind of cool. Um. Zooming in on the map, we are. The fuck, we at? We're over here. So we're over here. I know a couple different spots already. All right, let's continue. Yo, what are you doing, bro?
Oh dear Donner. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. No shit. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thorpe are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murderer type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's O'Donnell who says coffee light was fast enough. Who guess? The missing person case is smart around 2010. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Coldren late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was Yo. at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Damn. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and huh. was like crazy, shouting weird shit at us. <laughs> he must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. No, that's we weird. Shooting. He ran into these cycles and deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. All right. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting. Cold of the tree, the cold of the tree, cold of the tree. Oh, and then we found it. The whole thing was terrifying. Yo, what? That's all. Okay, so a couple different things to do here. The bookers. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is dead. My publisher will want this on the cover. Hmm. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutters. <laughs> they broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth.
We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Which makes sense. Case board. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. I told you not to keep that thing for me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Like video in the dream of missing dear. Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Hmm. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. If you say so. The hell? That's weird. That's really weird. Sheriff Station examine Eddie Gell's body. This mug always cheers me up. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. Hmm. Okay. Now we're putting a lot of shit together here.
all set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. Murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D &D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite Morning, class. Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Well, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. See you around. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Turn a fucking light on in here. Jesus. Examine that girl's body. Before performing the internal examination, what was the cause of death? What other clues can there's writing on here? Can't make it out. Writing. How did they manage that? This looks like text. A tattoo. Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? 
Most likely. Gotta figure out what's in there. What the Sheriff? What the hell? Yo, what the What the fuck? Oh no. Um this is some bad shit, bruh. Bro, what the fuck? This just got fucking wild. Get a flashlight. Get a flashlight. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. No, dude. My debt. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Spot. Sort of some of your health if you leave. Contemporary. What the? Okay, so I just died right there. Sketch ass. Yeah, bro. Okay. That worked, I think. 
Don't pop behind you. Next to you. End of the chapter. That's fucking sketch. I wonder if Alan Wake is like writing this because at the end of Alan Wake 1, like he got trapped in the darkness. <clears throat> so I wonder if he didn't have a heart, but he still got up. It's dark. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Mm -hmm. just I wonder if this pages have to do with Alan Wake. Leading Somehow we need to the to darkness of this. and rescue Alan Wake. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. Being attacked by a dead man? This mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but you both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious. Like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. There's one of the pages on the floor. These pages are important. Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Hmm. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. For sure. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here, 13. Places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Track Nightingale at Cauldron Lake. We, we heard gunshots. You all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. <laughs> That's terrible. We'll do what we can. That's crazy, right, boy? I can go 
Daniel's heart was missing. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. A -A Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Sun repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Omega three. All right, going a little bit of back and forth here. keep popping up I just wanted you to have all the facts next time give them to me before we find ourselves <laughs> oh that's crazy Turn two or chapter two almost the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly <clears throat> what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. Well, you know what? I think this would be an excellent place call it at the moment for now seems like we're on something pretty good I'm liking this game and the direction it's going um, just shit got crazy shit got scary a lot of good jumps here um, we're on that chapter or you know chapter two essentially <clears throat> um, figuring out what's going on I wonder if Alan Wake is writing pages so somebody would find the pages and they're going to try to find, then they're going to magically, or they're going to stumble upon Alan Wake. And it definitely has to do with the lake. Um, so there's definitely some creepy shit happening on and off. Um, I feel as if I'm kind of pinpoint. 
kind of pinpoint what's going on and everything like that. But we're going to continue on. Uh, we got part number three coming up next of uh, Alan Wake 2 here on the PS5. So you guys are the best. Um, if you guys finished all episode, awesome. Well, you probably just heard me say that you, fin- you finished it. But um, it really means a lot that you can watch at least most of the whole thing because uh, it's a good series and uh, so far. And I think it's going to deliver because, I mean, this game did win a couple awards. Um, and, um, I mean, it's, it's showing. So uh, it's pretty cool. I'm excited to play part three and put it on for you guys. Um, and, again, you know, if you play this game sweet, you know, you kind of get to re-see it in a different light. And um, if you guys haven't, well, what better place to be than, uh, you know, supporting the fam out here, right? So uh, catch you guys on that next one. Part number three coming up of Alan Wake 2. Peace.